While I had always sensed the magic and wonder of nature, the forest, the redwoods, I wanted to know more about Shinrin Yoku, Japanese for forest path. I wanted to have greater clarity. Was I doing it right? Was I missing something? Was I taking it all in? So I reached out to Nature Connection Coach, Hannah Lee Golden, who led me on the most beautiful walk and showed me the proper way to forest bay. And then just like look up just to see it because how often do we actually give ourselves that opportunity to just to see just how high it goes and again all the beautiful metaphors of just going skyward sky's the limit like just growing ever upwards so it just really it really grounds you by just giving yourself that chance to see what else just seeing things from a different perspective what is the proper way to forest bay so some hot tips are, and what I like to do is also kind of biohack the best experience that we could have. And some things to keep in mind are, are the three pillars, I keep talking about pillars, there are three foundational scientific aspects that prove exactly why nature is so healthy for us. That falls down to phytoncides, negative air ions, and microbes. Phytoncides are what's emitted, they're volatile organic compounds that are emitted from basically any plant matter that you see. Bark moss, branches, understory, mushrooms. If you see something organic in the forest, it's it's emitting those phytoncides. And that's actually what helps us heal. So what they do is they protect plant matter from disease, decay, and attack. And what they do when they release that to protect themselves against it, when we walk into the forest, we are breathing in those molecules. It does the same thing for our body. Not only does it protect the plants, it protects humans too. So what you want to do is go at the times of day and times of year when the phytoncides will be richest. And that's going to be the warmest parts of the year and the warmest parts of the day. So if you're going to go hiking at all, and I mean, or outside of forest bathing or what have you, it's any time is a good time to go. But if you ha if you could pick, go in the warmest part of the day, which is the middle part of the day. That's when the fight sides will be their absolute richest and densest in the air. Also, you want to go to the middle of the forest like we did. If you're hanging around on the fr fringes of the forest area, they're there, but they're not going to be as dense because here, the fighting sites are trapped by the forest canopy. So when we breathe that in, we're getting the absolute most that we can get. Also, you want to go after it's rained because then the air is really swirling with fighting sides going on. For negative air ions, you can find that in places like middle of the forest, but also waterfalls, also after thunderstorms. And for microbes, that's just in the soil. So when you go outside and you go forest bathing, get your hands dirty. Like touch the soil, touch the trees, because that's inviting in the, 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 uh, the bacteria, the healthy bacteria that helps us with our human gut microbiota as well. So you're just really bringing in the forest inside. <laughs> we know there is ample abundance and power in soaking in nature, but you'd be surprised by how many benefits there actually are. Some of the other benefits for emotionally, it helps reduce anger and anxiety. It actually has been proven effective to be a mild antidepressant. With any of this stuff though, it's not meant to replace any medical care that you're already receiving, but rather to supplement rather than supplant what it is that you're going through. Um, and it's preventative care too, so that it helps with all of that. Another thing emotionally is that it helps improve your mood and outlook. It boosts your vitality. It just makes you feel you just feel more at peace you feel more connected to yourself to community and to nature and then spiritually it leads into that as well one of the great things that they've shown um, kind of an offshoot to all of this is the science of awe and just how healthy that is for us as humans and when you go to nature this is one of the best if not most accessible landscape for achieving that sense of awe in order to just increase every way or elevate every way in which we want to live in this world so mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical benefits, those are the pillars of wellness and well-being. And it does for you, what I like to say is that every way in which we can improve as a human being, spending time in nature will do that for us. It is my sincere hope that you too will revel 
in the nature around you. At the trailhead in Joaquin Miller Park, Oakland, I'm Sue Tillen.